Hello everybody. This is a short demo to showcase how we can integrate DataCap with ADP. The first step would be to create a business automation project that for the use case that you want for data to be extracted. In our demo, I'm going to talk about the use case for the loan request. As you can see, I've already created a project and the project is the once the project has been created i've gone ahead and done the classification training as well as i've created the necessary fields and uh, i've completed the extraction training as as well so in when it comes to the number of fields i think i've created about eight fields as you can see the date of hire the date of birth the loan amount name reason for loan spouse name spouse social and uh, social I think these are the necessary information that I needed extracted for this particular use case. So I've gone ahead and created these. As you can see, the field types, two of them are date, one is a decimal, three strings, and two of them social security numbers. So once this has been completed, the next step would be to go ahead and enable this for data extraction. As you can see, I have other use cases and the loan request has been enabled so that I can deploy that. So once this project has been deployed, and we have a business application that's, that's used for runtime as well. So once all of that process has been completed, the next process is to find out what the project ID is because we need that information to send over from DataCap so that DataCap can integrate and find which project ID. In order to do that, the, step, the steps that I use is I go through ACE, so once you're an ACE and you click on your, uh, your um, uh, uh, repo and under your DevOS, you search for, um, let's search for a new object store search. What I'm going to be looking for is deployed projects, deployed project, and then I'm going to run. This would bring back all the deployed projects within this environment. Uh, it takes a little bit because there are a number of projects. And, uh, and once I have all the projects that show up, I'm going to go look for my particular project. I know the alias of my project. I think it's K, uh, KSD. So I'm going to go look for KSD over here. Um, this, so I click on this ID grid as well as when I go down here, I look for my current deployed version. So I click on this and I click on that ID. Uh, what I'm searching for next is for my CA project descriptor. So I copy this information because I need this information to pass from DataCap as one of the uh, parameters to, uh, for the action that calls ADP from DataCap. So this is how you get the grid which I will show you uh, where, where it can be used in DataCap. So once we are in DataCap, um, you know, I, I went ahead and created this application just to keep this demo short, uh, but it's pretty uh, straightforward creating uh, a document type in DataCap. For those who are familiar with uh, DataCap, all you need to do is create a document type, create a page, uh, which would be the main page and a trailing page, and uh, and the names that uh, correspond with the ADP uh, key value pairs, basically. So if you look at this, all of them are, have the symbolic names that have been created. Uh, it's just a name without any spaces. So once those, fi uh, those fields are added, here are a couple of um, uh, actions. I'm just going to expand it out over here uh, that we need. And then I've also configured um, uh, ICN to work uh, for this, which I will show you when I run a test. So um, the first step is, uh, you know, basically to import the files that you need. Um, and then, you know, depending on what file type it is, you convert the files. Uh, these are some of the um, default rule sets, I would say, which are, uh, you know, used in most of the applications. And then the main thing that we are um, uh, going to be discussing is this particular call ADP uh, rule set, which is over here. I've tried to um, you know, keep everything in order just to make sense of the application. 
But um, so uh, as you can see, I'm calling my, our sales cluster uh, and I'm sending that information uh, sent to ADP. So this is a custom action, which is over here, uh, as you can see. Um, and there's, uh, there are three actions and uh, you can see there's a lot of information on this you can go through. Um, so um, using this action, you know, uh, this is the, your URL, Zen based URL. And then uh, this is, uh, you know, just, just use the pre uh, configured ones over here. Um, and then for the username and password, as you can see, I've made a custom uh, smart parameters where you can have your username and password um, as well as, um, you know, the token is used. So the project ID I was talking to you about, uh, this is the project ID that you get from ACE, uh, the CA project descriptor. So once you put that in and then, uh, you know, all the rest of the items, just try to mimic what's over here. Um, and then, uh, and then the, uh, once this information is sent out to ADP and returns, ADP returns a JSON file uh, with all the, uh, the key value pairs of the data you're looking for. And then it creates a CCO from layout. So this basically just converts the JSON to a CCO layout so that downstream everything uh, can be worked as, you know, as uh, per data cap standards kind of thing. Uh, so once this is completed, um, you can run um, a batch or a test right from here, the studio. As you might know, this is a quick way to run a test from studio. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new batch right here, uh, new, and then I'm going to run this, advance this. So if you can see, um, the next step is the processing. So I'm going to click on that and run processing. So this is the first step to um, you know send the image over to a, uh, ADP. What ADP does is it does the classification because right now it does not know uh, what document type it is and, and any of that information, right? So ADP does the classification as well as uh, it does the extraction of the key value pairs and it accumulates the data and uh, sends back the JSON file. So when the JSON file comes back to DataCap, the first step uh, right after the information is received, uh, it converts the JSON to a CCO file. Uh, once the CCO file is, uh, uh, is, is uh, completed and all the rest of the fields are assigned to the fields defined within data cap. The first time this call is made out, uh, I think it takes a little extra time, but once uh, you, know, you, you do it the first time, it, it, it's pretty quick. Um, so now I've completed the pre-processing uh, I'm going to advance, do the post-processing, uh, just, you know, data cleanup and the rest of that happens. And then when I go to, ta I'll just keep it as task finished right now. Um, and no, I, I want to show you the data. So I'm going to pick this and so that I can show you the fields that we received from ADP, the key value pairs that we received from ADP. So the data is right here. As you can see, some uh, you know data cleanup needs to be done here. Uh, it's, other than that, I think we've gotten most of the other, uh, you know, other information as well. So once this is completed, I'm going to put this batch on hold, and uh, and uh, I think this is the process. That uh, right after this, you can go into verify you, you know, either the desktop or ICN, you know, and uh, complete the process and export. So the export is basically going to be either to in either one of your repositories or uh, your downstream uh, processes. Um, so this is a very easy process to uh, integrate with uh, integrate DataCap with data, uh, with ADP. Similarly, we could um, since uh, we have APIs uh, for a uh, ADP, we can integrate any other capture system. Uh, our RPA to be able to send images to uh, ADP and then uh, get a payload, JSON payload from ADP and then process it downstream. So there are uh, uh, opportunities to use ADP as a pseudo SAS, but for DataCap, um, you know, you can use it for, uh, you use DataCap just to scan and send it back. 
or you can do a round trip connector um, sorry uh, what I, I what I meant to say was there are two ways you can use data cap here as a just a scan method and once you scan and send to ADP ADP completes the process and exports to FileNet or you can use the round trip method which you want to use uh, a leverage data cap to do a little bit more complex uh, uh, functionality where you can send uh, the image from data cap to ADP for classification and extraction and get it back into data cap and then do verification indexing um, and uh, workflow related complex iterations within data cap before sending it out to export uh, either into FileNet or any other repositories or to uh, you know to any other downstream system from data cap uh, with this i would like to end our demo thank you